Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Laravel 5.5. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is to start sorting out the user roles. Remember when we first started this video course, we looked, we created roles and these roles contains different roles for our users. So if I click on browse, it's still empty right now, but what we wanted to use it to do is so that we can create different access controls so that we can have admins being able to access certain features. Then we have um, moderators, for instance, maybe the staff of the company, the being able to assess certain features and then finally we have the users who will just log in uh, create products create companies and add other users all right so we wanted to create those three different levels and um, we want to create it in such a way we want to build the site in such a way that we can create any unlimited number of roles user roles all right so what we're going to do here is to actually see how it works because many people have been requesting it we'll stop by make it work then we we'll continue on with creating tasks all right so if we get back to roles we'll see that this roles table has only two columns or three it has um role id it has name it has created as an updated of course uh, we could add description too if we wanted to add but i don't feel it's um, necessary so what we're going to do from now on is to quickly um go and work out these roles all right uh first of all i want to create roles here i'll just do insert create three different people remember we still have to create a uh, an interface a user interface where we can do that but for for now i just want to create three different roles so i will have um the first one will be admin make sure that your first one is the role with the highest um, permission level that is the super admin i understand so we now have other admins or just i uh, can just call it moderators I like to use different names for that and then of course i'll click go then i'll add one more so we now have these two sorted out let us add just one more which is the the users or the floor members so i'll just save uh user admin moderator and uh, user so i say go all right so if we get back to this uh browse we'll see that the three of them has been created but we uh, they have the IDs of one, two, three. So what we're going to do is, whenever a user is, being, is signing up into our application, we'll give the user an ID, a role ID. So if the user has a role ID of one, that means they are an admin. And then inside our code, we'll make sure that anytime the user is an admin, he has certain privileges. All right. And then if a user signs up with um, a role ID of two, then they are moderator. So let's go and quickly check out um, the users table. If we go to the user table, if I click on theme manager, go to user table, click on um, structure, we'll see that there is um, a role ID and it's an integer, and the, uh, the default is three. You understand? You see now, you now see why we did the default to be three. We want anybody signing up into this application to sign up as a user, that is a floor member, just normal user then if we wanted to make them an admin then we, ha we have to log in get to their account and change this number from three to two or one you understand all right so let's get back into our code or let's just see um, a structure the let's see the users that are signed up in this application i just have one user signed up so if i scroll to the right i will see the role the role id is at the extreme that is it that's the role id which is three you understand um if we change it to one automatically the user will be an admin so what we're going to do from now on is to get into our code and then sort out the remaining which is um if we open our web platform with our p manager and i click on home and uh, once home opens what i'll see is that uh, we have companies projects tasks and we have uh, the account of the user uh, we need to add a, a, a column here that has to do with admin you understand so that the user can access other admin menu you understand so only an admin will be able to see that admin menu so let us go to our code navigate to resources and uh, views and we're gonna go to layouts and navigation oh 
inside our layout we have the navigation this is the navigation bar where we have all the menu we need so we're gonna create one more menu here that has to do with um, the user role so right here uh, if I scroll to the right I'll see that there are comp there's companies projects tasks when the user is logged in this code is basically checking if the user is, is a guest they should be that is mean that means they have not logged in they should still log in and register buttons or links but else if they are already logged in they should see these other links now we're going to do one more to ch check if the user is an admin so i'm going to first of all duplicate one of these links um i need it to be a drop down so we already have a drop down here so i'm just going to duplicate this drop down this is a drop down i've copied it oops i've sorry for the mistake oh so i've copied this drop down but first of all i want to do an if statement so i'll do at if well we're trying to check if this user is an admin so we're going to check the user's role id if the user role id if the user's role id is equal to one that means the user is an admin so we're going to say at um, and if and if that is anything we put here in between this anything we put here will just uh work for the admin only so i've pasted as you can see i've pasted the the drop down we copied so the on, only the admin can see this drop down so if only the admin can see the drop down what i'll do is to call the drop down an admin and then we'll start putting in uh, all the menus so i'll delete this so this is the uh, ul so i'll just copy just one more li that we have here and um, paste here and uh, duplicate it uh, several times what i'm trying to do is to create a menu a drop down menu that have um, uh, the admin details all projects all users so i'll stop here and um, and um, in the next video we'll sort out the rest of the links all tasks and all what all companies so admin should be able to see the full details of anything that they select all right so let us just go and check it out uh, if we come here keep your eye here because a new menu will appear if i refresh so because this user is not an admin he can't see the menu but if we go back to our database and uh to the right here if we decide to edit this rule and make it one i'll hit enter i double click it to edit and uh, if i make it if i hit enter it has um, edited it so if we come back here and we'll refresh as you can see an admin menu has appeared so if the user clicks it they will see a drop down only the admin can see this drop down of these extra new um, links all right so see in the next video where we actually make these links to work